So next up on the track, and we're actually going to introduce them over the stadium as well. So we'll turn our attention back down to the start line this time for event 65, the mixed 4x100 under 10 relay final. In lane one, we have Geelong. In lane two, Wangaratta B team. In lane three, Keelor. In lane four, Bacchus Marsh. In lane five, Essendon. In lane six, Caulfield. In lane seven, Sandringham. And in lane eight, Mentone. So they're your competitors in the mixed under 10, 4 by 100 metre final. So if we take a look at the seeded times here, it is going to be our team from Essendon in lane five that have come in with the fastest time. So we will keep an eye out on sure what we are waiting for I think something with photo finishes Piers everyone is ready to go and yes so we are in the starters hands and we are underway here in the mixed under 10, 4 by 100 metre relay, and it's team from Caulfield out there in lane 6 that are off to a flying start here as they do approach the first change. Essendon and Bacchus Marsh there just behind them, but it's going to be Caulfield that are going to go down the back straight in first position. Essendon are chasing hard, getting away from Bacchus Marsh. We've got Keeler there in lane 3 as well, leading the second group, but it's going to come up to the second change here. I believe Essendon's probably got the advantage here with the bend, and they have changed first and cleanly. Caulfield there on their outside. Keeler and Bacchus Marsh are chasing hard, but it's going to be Essendon that are going to go down. Bacchus Marsh have a gun athlete here in the last leg, so he will be going to bring them home, but is it going to be too far here? So it's going to be Essendon that's going to go all the way down now. Keeler there in second place. Nelson there from Bacchus Marsh in third. Can he catch up? <laughs> but it's going to be Essendon first. Keeler there in second. Bacchus Marsh in third place. So a great run there from Essendon to take out the victory.